Numerical Methods, Problem 15.4. Consider the linear programming problem. Maximize f of x equals 6x plus 8y. Subject to 5x plus 2y is less than or equal to 40. 6x plus 6y is less than or equal to 60. 2x plus 4y is less than or equal to 32. x is greater than or equal to 0. y is greater than or equal to 0. Obtain a solution first graphically, then using the simplex method, and then using an appropriate software package such as Excel. So to first solve this graphically, we set up our equations in MATLAB. We solved for our y values and then plotted up the equations. As you can see here are all our equations for our constraints and our optimal solution is here about 4 and 6 here in red is our equation 6x plus 6y in blue is 5x plus 2y it's less than or equal to 40 and then in green is 2x plus 4y less than or equal to 32 as you can see we can't go past the blue can't go past the red so once our green hits the red, that's as far as we can go, and that's our optimal solution for this problem. So that's the graphical solution. Now let's try to do the simplex method. So the simplex method involves using a matrix to solve the problem. The first thing we do in the simplex met method is to simply state our constraints again as equations now. Our constraints before were 5x plus 2y is less than or equal to 40, 6x plus 6y is less than equal to 60 and so on. So we use these equations and simply don't set them less than or equal to, just set them equal to for the meantime 40, 60, and 32. And then we state the equation that we're trying to optimize which is 6x plus 8y and we want to take all of these and put these into a matrix. Also we must make sure that all our variables are greater than or equal to zero. So the next step of the simplex method is to add all the slack variables to all these equations or all the constraints. So for every constraint there's a slack variable, S1, S2, S3. And so, we go down here, now that we have our constraints, our variables, and our slack variables, all greater than or equal to zero, we can set up our Tableau matrix. In our Tableau matrix, the equation that we want to optimize, the 6x plus 8y, we set equal to z, and we put z at 1, and then we put in our variables, x and y, and there's no slack variable for the equation that we want to optimize, because the slack variable means we have too much or too little of an x and a y, we have an excess, so we need some slack or some room for those numbers to meet these constraints of 40, 60, and 32. As you can see, 
if we try to solve the problem without the slack variables here we set it equal to our B matrix and then try to solve the problem A backslash B it's not going to work out quite right you scroll up here's our tableau matrix and here would be our A matrix without our slack variables and here's our B matrix that we can use to solve the problem and as you can see we get 4.45 and 5.9 which is pretty close but not exact and not where we want to be so we go to our next step of the simplex method So now that we have our tableau matrix, we have to find a pivot point to alter the matrix or simplify this matrix. And to do this, we find the most negative number. And our most negative number here is negative 8. So this is the column that we'll be pivoting on. So now we have to find which point in that column do we pivot with. And to do so, we take our constraints and divide by the coinciding numbers in that column. So 40 over 2 equals 20, 60 over 6 equals 10, 32 over 4 is Eight. So we take the smallest of them, and 8 is the smallest, so we use the number 4 to pivot on. And simply, that means we need to set 4 to 1. To do so, we must multiply that row of the matrix by the reciprocal of that number. So we multiply the fourth row of the tableau matrix by 1 over 4, which can be seen down here making the pivot 1 to access the fourth row in the matrix in MATLAB. We simply take the number of the row, comma, and then the number of elements, since we have 1 through 7, we have 1 through 7 there. And we simply, here we're multiplying our tableau row by 1 fourth, and then after we set our pivot point to 1, the rest of the numbers need to go to 0. And to do so, we simply add a multiple of our last row. Now that our pivot point is at 1, to the other rows. So, for example, row 1. Here, see we choose row 1. We multiply by 8 because it is negative 8. So 1 times 8 in the bottom row, then add to the top row, we make that 0. Same with the second row. 1 times negative 2, add that to the second row. 2 plus negative 2 is 0, and we do that until we have 0, 0, 0, 1. I can show you that here in the matrix form. So here's our original tableau matrix. And then we have our pivot point since we multiplied the bottom row by 1 over 4. And then we add this row to the top row by after multiplying it by negative 8. And then to the next row, the next row, the next row after that. So we are at our next form of our tableau matrix. And we notice we still have a negative number here. And the, so since we have 
a negative number still in the equation that we want to optimize in our matrix, we must continue simplifying the matrix. So we must find another pivot point, which in this case, which is the next most negative number, which negative 2 would be the only other negative number. So that's the one we choose. And then we must check which number we're going to use for our pivot point. So yet again, we take 24 divided by 4. We take uh, say we take our 12 and divide it by 3, and then we take our 8 and divide it by 0.5 we get 6, 4, and 16. So the smallest one is 12 over 3, which equals 4. And our pivot point is 3, which is right here. So we go through, this, through the same steps. Got to make that point 1, which we do by multiplying by 1 third. Then we add it to the rest of the rows until we get to our final matrix here notice here's our solution we have a 4 and we have a 6 just as we expected and just as we wanted And to know that we're done going through the pivoting process and the process of the simplex method, we know this because we don't have any negative numbers here left in our variables, which are x and y. So that's it for the simplex method. Let's solve it one more time just to be a hundred percent sure. So we set up our equations in Excel. We start with a point at zero, y at zero. Here's our function that we want to optimize. So we have six times x plus eight times y. Here's our constraints. And then we can click on the equation that we want to optimize, go to the solver, and we want to find the maximum. So here we have the maximum of this equation it's selected in our solver. We have our constraints where x and y must be greater than or equal to zero and our constraint equations must be less than their coinciding constraint number 40, 60, and 32. Then we just click solve, hit OK, and yet again we have 4 and 6. So 3 times solve, 3 times the same answer, x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 6 is the optimal solution for this problem. That is it for problem 15.4 in numerical methods.